Libra, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. There is no gender in tarot. Libra, this is something that could have happened to you already. It could be happening to you now. It could happen to you in the future. I am doing your sun sign of Libra. Check your other placements. This is a collective reading for Libra. So if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can negate the reading. I could be pulling on the energy of someone else in your energy. Probably a cross watcher. If it does resonate, give me a thumbs up. Let me know how it resonates with you. I like to know if I have hit my mark. Libra, fucked up over you. Okay, so you got somebody all in their fifis, all in their feels, huh? Empress energy, Nine of Pentacles, but reversed. What's this? This is Hermit reverse. We're not taking that. Nine of Pentacles is pre Empress, Libra, Taurus. One away from the Ten of Pentacles, but it is flipping cards around. It is reversed. A little self esteem problem going on here. Jeez, what's going on? So, self-esteem problem. We need to you need to realize that you actually are that pre-empress. You are in pre-empress energy. You gotta flip that around and realize that. Six of Swords, you just want peace. You want to move away from anything that's causing anxiety, anger, anything that's upsetting that apple cart. Moving towards the calm. Page of Swords. Mind in somebody's business or somebody's mind in yours. Researching. Getting on that been verified Spokio. Somebody paying attention to your business. Queen of Cups. Water sign. Pisces. Scorpio. Cancer. Queen of Cups is actually very good energy to be involved with in the upright. Unconditional love, very intuitive, excuse me, very intuitive. Considerate, romantic, very nice partner. Can be a little clingy, sometimes moody. But that's emotional. Not, not, I'm not going to say moody. Emotional. Because it's water sign. And water signs can be more emotional than, well, especially air signs. Because air signs are more logical. So you could find that it's more emotional than you are used to. So where you step back and think with your head, water signs definitely think with their heart. Ace of Swords reversed. So somebody's not telling all the truth here. You're not telling the truth about what? Knight of Swords is not a nice person. Reverse. Knight of Swords reverse. Not a nice person. This is typically Aquarian energy. I guess it could represent you. They're very, very harsh, bully, nasty, thug like mentality. Mm. breadcrumbing let's let's see what else is going on here i can't see a queen of cups behaving this way hmm. 
Okay, so we've got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Not feeling your best, that you're at the top of your game. But that's a you problem. Want peace, want to move out of drama and have peace could be spying on someone again take this and flip it i'm reading it as it's you but if this is not you absolutely flip this to whomever it could be you could be dealing with or whoever's in your energy could be spying on somebody researching something about somebody a queen of cups water energy again nice partner could be you embodying this queen of cups very loving considerate romantic mother good mother nice wifey material but there is some type of deception lies maybe that you're seeing maybe that you're finding out about that's what you, that's what you want to get away from in dealing with this knight of swords they could definitely be a liar absolutely that could be why you want the calm and the peace because you want away from this. They breadcrumbed. You cried over the past. It was hurtful. This Knight of Swords can be very hurtful just with their words. Their words are very sharp, very cutting. They go straight for the throat, straight for the jugular, whether they're true or they're not. And that could give you a little bit of a self-esteem complex. Absolutely. But you're coming out of you're coming out of that. Not making any type of a decision, kind of at a stalemate in regards to some type of a decision. I don't know what that decision is. There is some type of juggling or balancing. Maybe not juggling. Maybe you're looking for balance in your life. I mean, you could have been juggled, but I'm going to read this more as though you need balance in your life because you want peace. You want calm. You're going to have it. Wheel of Fortune, it's in your favor. But you're not making a decision about something. An offer was made and re rescinded. Ace of Cups. This is another ace that's reversed. So there's no new beginning. We don't have a new beginning in regards to the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is truth. Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. This is reversed. So this is, something is not being told completely lies of omission, or just straight out lies. And there's no new beginning in regards to this. We're not, this is, this, this is, you're not going forward because there are lies. You obviously know that there are lies or somebody has lied to you and you realize that. I don't think it's you doing the lying. Now we have the Ace of Cups. Again, not a new beginning. This would be a new beginning in regards to a relationship, something that you care about, emotions, blessings, reversed an offer would have been made it's now being taken back whether you made that offer or said that you were open to the offer that you've put a stop to that why because of mind games again you want balance you want calm you might have done some research on this person i'm not going to say spying i mean there could have been social media something like that but maybe you've spoken with someone or just paid attention when you were with them sometimes not even spying but being friends on social media and seeing how their behavior is in regards to other things or seeing going on a going on a date or being in their company and seeing how they treat people you see how they treat the wait staff or people that are service people and you see how they treat people it's a turn off possibly you could have realized 
this is not the type of person that I want in my life. And, you know, they're, they're rude. This is not going to give you the happy home. Ten of Cups reversed. This is not for you, you're realizing. Okay, somebody could have told you something about this person as well, something very detrimental besides what you have found out on your own or possibly have seen, realized that this person was not a truth teller. Could have been why you have rescinded your offer or have rejected an offer. Could have heard gossip. You feel that this person is very immature. You don't want to be breadcrumbed. It was upsetting because maybe you doubted your judgment. We have Aquarian energy here. This is wish fulfillment, hope, healing. This is reversed. You don't want to move forward with this. You don't want to fix this. You're not hoping to fix this. You don't want to heal any type of a rift. Because there's definitely some type of devil energy. There could be addictions, bondage in obsessive thoughts. Maybe not you, but maybe they have obsessive thoughts in regards to you. You could have a soul tie. You could feel that. It could be trauma bond. You can feel the energy tie. There could be obsessive thoughts. And you want out of that. And that very well could be maybe how you can't make that decision to how, how do I pull away from that. And they could very well be fucked up over you. And you feel that energy. But you are walking away. You realize there will be no harvest with this person. They're treating you like you are not an empress. They are not valuing what you bring to the table. And why do you want to be with somebody like that? If they have value for somebody else and they're not appreciating you, then why waste your time? Yet now they're going to be upset because you don't want to be with them. I think because you're making, you're, you're going to end up making that decision, I'm assuming, because you want peace and you don't, you want balance and it's going to go in your favor. But when it's you making that choice, they don't like it. As long as they're making that choice, it's okay. But how dare you reject my offer? You get it? You've looked at this from all angles. What you found out, how you've seen them, them behave, what you've heard. You've taken the time and thought about this. This wasn't just an off-the-cuff decision because you couldn't make the decision at first. But you've taken everything into consideration and it's a, mm, I'm not going to walk around being wounded and looking over my shoulder for how are you going to hurt me again. Not down for that. So, they have to be upset over you? Well, then that's how they have to be. But you're standing your ground. Libra, this is your reading. If it makes any sense to you, give me a thumbs up. If it doesn't, you can negate the reading. I will see you next week.